Welcome back to the 888 Poker Weber Cup. Team USA lead this doubles match and are on the verge of defending their title. Barrett will be deeply disappointed with this result. Really wanted something to happen this year and avenge last year's defeat, but we, well, we thought for a time in the early stages that it was possible Team Europe could construct something, but once Team USA got the lead, that was it. They maintained the lead, and Team Europe even struggled to level the scores. And then once they got away, the Reds were well away. Here goes Oscar yet again. <coughs> that uh, temping, just getting some practice on that temp. But, but Simon, yep, yeah, uh, the Weber Cup has moved here after all these years, and, and now we are seeing the world's best players, all eight of them, performing at the highest level. And it's a great exhibition for world temping bowling. So TJ after leaving the seven. I don't know exactly what he did wrong and how he needs to compensate. And a little high through the head pin, but gets enough carry to knock all ten down. He doesn't care. <laughs> it's another strike for Tommy Jones. And Cass, we are with each ball, we're moving closer to the winning ball, aren't we? So we'll keep a close eye on that for you. Yes, it'll be interesting to see. It would be nice if uh, Bill O'Neill can actually bowl the ball that wins it. But uh, just going through the paces at the moment is uh, Don Barrett. Cassie with the celebrations. There will be a party after this year's Weber Cup, but it's going to be Team USA that enjoy it. Bill O'Neill then just needs to keep this clean run going. It's not about strikes for Team USA now. It's about just keeping clean. And the strike is very nice indeed. Yes, we know, Mike. Just one more. One more strike or one more point. And believe it or not, they're still pacing 279, which is only just above their average for the last six to eight games. That scorecard looks pretty good. It's not actually bad for the Europeans, but uh, devastatingly good for Team USA. And scoops it across to the wrong side of the deck. As the two-handers so often are able to do, gets enough pins flying to get the strike, but uh, that's not the one you'd want to do, or that's not the way you'd want to do it. So far left, it's, it's just in play, only just gets over the 20 board. Hits the head pin only just. Well, and he gets a mix on the three pin. Kind of consolation strike there for Oscar Palermo, who's not had the best tournament sitting in the captain's position for Europe. TJ. Ooh, nearly a split, but leaves a makeable spare for O'Neill. I tell you, Cass, the comeback's starting. Tell me where and when. <laughs> Next game, perhaps. O'Neill keeps it clean, and as I said, that's all Team USA need to do. And from Team Europe's point of view, they must strike this off the card. Well, Weber Cup 13 is done and dusted. The unfortunate thing, Simon, is that if they do strike off the card, it still may, may not be enough to win. No, that's a good point, Cass. We're getting pretty close to the end ball. Frame nine. We call it the foundation frame. Could be the frame to go home on. Well done, Dominic. Three strikes in a row for uh, Europe. 
Cassie's got something to say about that as well. Looks slightly unconventional, this strike. He is a long, long way left. He gets out to that marker, brings it back in. And it's a very nice mix on the pins. But Cassie wasn't convinced. She knows her bowling as well. Very competent player and uh, wasn't convinced they were going to go down. Now, Tommy just fishing for strikes at the moment. And there we go, he's hooked one. Just trying to seal the deal. Here's Tommy Jones. There was uh, a glimmer of hope for Europe there. They've gone three strikes in a row. But you can see with one frame to go, there's the maximums. Yeah, foundation frame strike from Team USA. They will stand up to bowl for the Weber Cup. And there's nothing that Oscar Palermo or Dominic Barrett can do about it for the moment. Well, leaves a seven, and that's just about finished it off. Yeah, there, Maxim goes to 2.16. And uh, it's going to be one of these two guys that's going to stand up and shoot for the cup. And uh, it's good night, Europe. That's it. It's an open frame. Team USA will stand up to finish this off in style. And Bill O'Neill, the man that uh, did struggle a bit in the opening Baker match, he really put himself on the back foot with two shocking deliveries. But it, it is him that will put the first nail in the coffin. <laughs> with another super strike and Tommy Jones well doesn't need to bowl this one but he will do this game is over Weber Cup 13 is over and Team USA are once again victorious and they've done it by a quite huge margin they have destroyed Team Europe superb stuff from the talisman for Team USA Tommy Jones has done it again. And Bill O'Neill, Cass Edwards to finish things off. He's done well, hasn't he, Bill? How appropriate that uh, Billy's going to take the last shot. And they've gone through the 250 barrier, so they've made their average. And the crowd will lift, lift uh, Bill on this one, and he'll be so proud. The last ball of Weber Cup 13 is not a good one from Bill O'Neill. It matters not, because Team USA have brought it home in style. They cross the line with a quite devastating performance in this afternoon's session, taking every single match on offer. And they move out to 17-7 to claim this Weber Cup. And uh, a demoralised Team Europe stand up on stage to shake hands. They won't be feeling great about this, but Team USA will be feeling just magic. A perfect performance from the Americans. Confirmation then of that final scoreline. And as Cass Edwards said, it is a record victory by Team USA. 17 points to seven. And uh, Europe were never really in it. A quite wonderful performance from Team USA. It's red all the way as they beat Team Europe in Weber Cup 13 by 17 points to seven. Let's get to Tony Wrighton for the presentation. And now if I could invite the winning captain, Chris Barnes, to join me. Chris, many congratulations. What an effort from your team who were just spectacular today. Yeah, it was a very good day for us. I mean, it was really close. It was 8-7 at one point, and I don't think any, anybody on either team saw us reeling off nine in a row. What, how did you produce that change of gear that's happened in this last session? Um, you know, the guys really hit their stride last night. Uh, Mike and Bill really turned it on. We shot 780 or 790 the last three games uh, to take those last three points and get a little, a little bit of, of a comfort, uh, comfortable lead. And then with the shorter pattern today, we all went with uh, balls that rolled a little bit earlier. And it seemed like they all went with ones that, that, rolled, that went longer. And uh, that turned out to be a difference in bar reaction for the most part.
it seems like you guys have a really good team spirit as well. Yeah, we all get along great. We bowl together on the national team. Uh, we, we're friends. We hang out on tour as well. And, uh, you know, other than Bill being me first, always, you know, it's, it's pretty much a, a collaborative effort. <laughs> and uh, there's quite a few American fans in this Barnsley crowd today as well. They've been delighted at your efforts. Yeah, we have a nice little support group over here. We've got the flag. They grow in a, little, a few every year. Uh, we need to, to pick up the pace, though. We're still a little outnumbered. <laughs> Well, listen, Chris, I know everyone here is hugely impressed and appreciates all your efforts. Congratulations and well done. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. These guys were great. And now time for the trophy presentation. If I could ask uh, Luke Riches from Matcham Sport to present the 888 Poker Weber Cup to Team USA.